Hey guys, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and this is another Miscellany Monday video. And yes, I'm putting out three this week. <laughs> I have so many things other than knives that I've received over the last while, and I just haven't been keeping up with them, and I want to share them with you guys. But they're not as important to me as my knives, but they are still important. This is by Cold Steel. This is their uh, axe handle, hatchet handle, axe handle, axe handle walking stick. Polypropylene, 38 inches long, super strong. You've probably seen the video showing how uh, how good it is. Uh, Cold Steel's got videos of them smashing up cinder blocks with these, and other guys have got videos of them breaking things up. And I'm not going to show you those things. Uh, they're all out there. Yes, it can do all those things. And when you do all those things, it will scuff up the edges. And I want to keep this as well as I can. I've already scuffed up the edges a bit because I've done some of those things. Um, sorry, you won't see those on those video on this video. I'm going to keep it short and let you know what I think of this uh, hatchet axe thing and where you can get it. I bought mine from Blades Canada, aka uh, Warriors and Wonders for what is around $48, $49. Uh, right now it's $42.99 at Blades Canada. And uh, the cheapest place in the U.S. to get this is at knifecenter.com right now. They've got it on for $29.95. No, sorry, Midway USA has it for $23.99. So that was the second lowest price. The lowest price is Midway USA. I don't know if you can get free shipping at either one of those. Uh, you guys might know them. And if around the world, you're going to have to just look at where cold steel stuff is, and maybe you can get it. It starts off at 38 inches long. That's too long for me. I cut off an inch and a half. So uh, that mine is 36 and a half inches, which is very much the same length as my other canes that I use. And that's why I cut it to that length. So I can actually use it to support my body when I'm walking, because I do need a cane. And, uh, you know, it's a little heavy. It's not quite as comfortable as, as my other canes. Um, this thing is one pound, 10.6 ounces. So that is what? 26.6 ounces. Okay, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, my regular cane is 11 point something ounces, you know, less than 12 ounces for my regular cane. And, um, you know, this thing's two and a half times heavier. So it is a bit of a deal to walk with. But I did find that it's actually quite comfortable in the hand for me to walk with this cane. I ended up holding it like this. So my index finger is wrapped around here, three fingers here, and I put my weight on it and I walked with it that way. And uh, when I was in the woods, the wilds in, uh, you know, the national park, you know, where there's bears and there's a uh, cougar, mountain lion, whatever you want to call them out there. Of course, there's coyote and wolf. You know, you do need to protect yourself. You can't have a firearm in the national parks. And, um, you know, I don't have a spear on myself. <laughs> So this is a certain degree of self-defense. Partly, you know, you lift it up and you make yourself look bigger with it and stuff. And if you need to, you know, whack something with this thing. And this tip here is actually pretty hard. It'll actually, you know, it might puncture through, you know, skin. But it'll definitely hurt tremendously getting hit with that point. Getting hit with this edge is going to hurt an awful lot as well. Um, you can grab things and that's going to be really sharp. You know, you pull into tender parts of... A body by pulling an action and you've got this end to hit with as well let me continue talking about walking though i've been walking with it just and i ended up getting a little stone in there because there was a tiny little cavity when i cut the end off you can put a uh, like a cane foot rubber foot on here if you want to you can either use the inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter versions uh, they're both rather in the in-between size for here. An inch and an eighth is quite tight. Inch and a quarter, you know, depending who makes it, is somewhat tight. It might be a little bit loose. You'll just have to experiment with what you can get. Those don't cost that much. If you're going to walk where there's smooth floors, like in an urban setting, you really do need a rubber foot on here. Um, and in the bush, in the pathway outside in the wilds, I didn't find that I really needed a foot. But, you know, it would actually help as well. You know, that's what, all that I want to say about this thing. I, I'm going to include a little bit of video of me walking with it, if I can find it. I did that in Jasper a little bit. 
uh, it's a very functional tool. Check out the other videos that are out there to see if, uh, you know, to watch the kinds of things that they can do. They can, you know, they're smashing cinder blocks with this thing and whatever. Polypropylene is very strong. I just don't have time to do that kind of video. I just want to tell you that in my testing of this, I think it's a, a good self-defense tool. I think it's uh, both in an urban setting and in the wilds. Uh, it has to be this heavy for it to be this strong, so you can't really get the weight off of it. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, it is a decent tool. It's a good attempt at a stick. I used to have a shillelagh, a long shillelagh, gentle, gentle, genuine blackthorn, Irish blackthorn shillelagh, and, uh, you know, with the round end on it, you know, not perfectly round, each one's different. And, uh, I ended up leaving it at a restaurant and uh, you know my wife and I went out we don't go out that often to sit down restaurants and uh, we went out and you know I put it down and um, sometimes when I'm feeling quite good you know maybe after a meal or whatever a drink or two with my meal I think I left it there and I walked out I noticed when I got to the car and by the time I got back it was gone cold steel has those in polypropylene they look pretty genuine. They've got more gentlemanly walking sticks, like a thinner, lighter one with a smaller end. They've got one that they call an African style. Um, and they've also got regular fighting sticks as well, all in polypropylene, because it's going to last a whole lot better than most wood. Wood. Uh, especially if you inadvertently leave it outside or, you know, you get caught in rain or something. So that's it for this video. I'm not going to share an awful lot. I like this. It works well. It's comfortable, slightly heavy, and it's not that hard to cut it to the length that you need. Most people tend to keep their canes too long if they're actually going to use it to support their weight. Um, but uh, at 38 inches, I am 5 foot 11. That's uh, 1.8 meters, 5 foot 11 inches, and so I had to cut off an inch and a half. Well, so if you don't need it to actually support you in your walking, keep it as long as you can and uh, take this thing out with you and uh, practice using a stick. Watch some good uh, stick fighting videos to give you some pointers. And, uh, you know, don't attack anybody with this because it's going to be called a deadly weapon. At least in Canada, it will be. Um, so uh, self-defense only, guys, unless, uh, you know, you want to. You know, it's a free world. You do what you want. You reap your own consequences. In any case, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. We'll see you at the next review.